There are 14 rows of seats in a cinema, and there are 15 seats in each of those rows. A film was shown in the cinema on Saturday with each of the tickets costing £6.50. The tickets that were sold cost a total of £1,274. How many tickets were not sold? So I'm going to start off by using both of these lines. And we're going to work out how many seats there are in the cinema. So what's the maximum number of tickets that could be sold? So we've got 14 rows and 15 seats in each of those rows. So we're going to multiply by 15, giving us 210. Which means it's possible to sell 210 tickets if the cinema was sold out. So we're told that each ticket for the film costs £6.50. So if the cinema was to sell out, it would be 210 for the 210 seats, multiplied by 6.5, £6.50. And if we pop that into the calculator, that gives us 1,365. So that's the total cost of the tickets if all the seats were sold. However, we're told that the tickets that were sold totaled a cost of £1,274. So we're going to take the difference between our total number and the number that was actually sold. So 1,365 minus 1,274, giving us £91. So if we think about it, this is the value of the number of tickets that were not sold. So how many tickets does this represent? If we do 91 and divide that by how much each ticket costs, which is £6.50, putting that into the calculator, we get 14. So that's the number of tickets not sold and also our final answer. So we got our first mark up here for starting off um, the process. So working out the total number of seats in the cinema, the second mark for the rest of our working here and the final mark for the correct answer of 14 tickets.